What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick video I want to show you how you can actually change any applications icon in here and add a custom app icon here to any specific app so you can actually have your iPhone much beautiful and customized according to your specific desire. My name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues so if you're into tech content consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel but I also share cool tech hacks especially stuff related to Apple devices. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now, in order for us to actually customize any specific application that we wish to customize, we first need to search for a specific icon that we wish to allocate to a specific app. For example, in my case, let's say that I want to customize here the iTunes or Apple Music application. There we go. This is how we actually access it and this is how my Apple Music application looks like okay so first things first let's quickly hop into our internet browser in my case we're rocking Safari in here and then we're heading straight into google.com so Google will of course be the best place for you to search for a customized icon or logo you can also create it on your own you can create your own logo if you wish to or if you are a graphic designer and you know what you're doing you can also create your custom logo so in my case since I'm not a graphic designer I'm gonna search for a specific logo in here so let me quickly type in here for example Apple music custom icon tap on search there we go if I tap here on images you do have different and various customized logos in here that we can actually use as a cover to that specific application so we actually customize it for example we do have this one we do have this one this one this one okay we do have various types of designs this one's really good for example we do have many so we need to download the specific icon that we actually like okay so in my case I'll be going with this one so I actually like this one tap once on that specific icon it's gonna take you a couple seconds to load and then simply tap here on visit once and then that specific image will show up in here in the maximum resolution next up you simply want to press and hold on that specific image and tap on save to photos to save that specific image or download it there we go let me hop into photos real quick there we go and then I'm gonna tap once on that specific icon and here we go we do have my icon in here now there's something very important that you need to double check make sure that you're downloading an image with a transparent background okay for example if you can see if I simply close this or if I drag it all the way here you can see that we don't have any background in here because you want the app to be represented in this specific shape you might be downloading for example an image with a white background something that will would look like this let me quickly take a screenshot for example just to showcase it to you guys you may be in a situation where you might be downloading an app that looks like this for example as you can see there's a difference between this icon in here and this icon in here if you download something like this with a white background it's gonna be actually saved with this white background here on the app and it won't look good at all okay so I would recommend you guys to make sure that you're downloading image without a specific background with a transparent background in other words there we go next up the next thing we're going to do is actually bring down the search bar in here and then you want to search for shortcuts shortcuts is an application that actually comes already installed built in with your iPhone device so you want to open up shortcuts but in case you're unable to open up shortcuts do not worry you can hop straight into your app store real quick and you want to make sure that you download the shortcuts application here by searching for shortcuts okay simply download it and open it in my case it's already downloaded so I'm gonna quickly open up the shortcuts application real quick now next up what you're gonna do in here is simply tap here on search for shortcuts and you want to search for a shortcut which says open application or open app if you're unable to find that specific shortcut do not worry simply create a new one by tapping here at the top right corner search actions and search for open app for me it's already here but in case you're unable to find it you can search you can type open app okay next up tap once on open app and then simply tap on done okay so we've already actually added that shortcut to our recently accessed shortcuts next up simply tap on this three dots real quick and then you want to search for a specific app to be launched every time we tap on this shortcut so in order to select the app we'll tap here on app real quick and then we need to search for that specific 
specific app. So I'll be going with music real quick. There we go. Okay, that's the application you want to open and then simply tap on done. And there we go. We do have open app and then we do have the shortcut. Once I tap on here, the Apple Music application opens up real quick. Beautiful, so far so good. Next up, simply tap on these three little dots in here, and then you wanna tap on this little arrow here at the top of the app, okay? Next up, you simply want to tap, of course, first of all, on rename, and then you wanna add or you want to allocate a specific custom name or the name of the app. So besides customizing that specific logo or icon, you can also customize the name of the app. So over here, I'm gonna allocate the name, for example, Apple Music. There we go, okay, tap on okay. And then if you simply tap once again on this little arrow, next up, we'll tap here on add to home screen, okay? So once we tap on add to home screen, we're actually adding that specific application to the home screen. We're basically exporting everything we've done in here. So we do have our custom name as Apple Music and it shows you a quick representation of how the app will look like on your home screen. Next up, simply tap here on this little image logo in here and tap on choose photo to add a custom image to that specific application or shortcut. Next up, select this one, of course, the icon without a background so it looks perfect. There we go. Next up, tap on choose and this is how our app will look like. See, we're customizing the app. Next up, simply tap on add and you're good to go. As you can see, we already have here my custom application in here and every time I tap on it, my Apple Music app will show up real quick. Boom, that's how easy we can actually customize the apps. Now, if I simply want to add it here to this section, I can also simply drag this all the way to here, remove it, okay? And then next up, I'm gonna locate my specific Apple Music app. Here we go. I'm gonna simply press and hold, drag it down here all the way to this section and boom, we're good to go. Here I am rocking a brand new icon here representing my Apple Music app in here. This is how easy you can actually customize app icons here on your iPhone. Now, if you simply wanna take things to the next level, you can download packs, okay? You can hop into google.com and then you can search for something like iPhone apps pack, okay? So you can search for it and you can find specific websites which will actually allow you to download a whole pack of icons. For example, here we do have a combo of all common apps which we do have on an iPhone device already customized. We do have a lot of graphic designers already offering all the specific icons that they have created in the past. Some of them sell these packs while the others actually offer it for free or upload it for free. Okay, so this is how easy you can actually change your app icons here on your iPhone device. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And if you find my content useful, consider subscribing, like the video, and let me know in the comment section down below if you do have any questions or any doubts. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.